Well, as hunters, we all like to go back every year to our special places. And it's not always because of, you know, the great hunting there, it's great friends. And my buddy Greg here in Kansas allows us the run of his place. And that's the kind of hunting I dearly love to do. Go put up my own stands, go do my own scouting, and dodge the rainstorms. <laughs> because in Kansas this year, on this hunt, we just got pounded by not only rain every day, it seemed like, but high winds. And it was really throwing a monkey's wrench into the deer pattern. And I don't mind rain in the fact uh, when it's just a drip or a drizzle or stuff, because right. I think it actually hypes the deer movement up a little bit. But when you get a downpour, that tends to do just like you and I are in a downpour. You kind of hunker down, don't do much moving. There is one good thing about rain though, and I believe it really helps control your scent. That added rain that knocks our scent down gives us so much more of an advantage. I agree. Um, I will also tell you there are parts of the country where deer really show up and get out when it's raining, and there are a few years in the southeast when it rains, there is virtually hardly any deer movement at all. You guys are bow hunters, and therefore you hunt out of trees. I don't, so uh, I love the wet, rainy weather because it gives me that opportunity, even if it's pouring down, maybe I can do a little slip hunting, little spot and stalk, hopefully spotting something to put a stalk on them. The leaves are a whole lot quieter, the scent's down as it is. But to me, even when you have rainfall, you still got to do all those things you guys are talking about and still pay attention to the wind as well. Now you need to be really extra careful uh, regarding your rain gear as well. Make sure it's quiet rain gear. And you definitely need to stay warm because if you're not warm, you're not gonna be out there all day waiting for that buck to come by. This buck's coming in, he's circling around, he's just rutting, looking for a doe, and I'm trying to figure out, am I gonna get a shot because he is not stopping. Well, it looks here like you did something to stop it. The, <laughs> I, uh, the Kaiser coyote call? <laughs> no, I didn't use it. In fact, I hate doing a grunt call or anything to stop him, but I couldn't get this buck stopped, so I did have to do right. a mouth flat, you know, bah, to get him to finally put his head up and get into a position where I could get the shot off. I was just getting ready to shoot there, and he took right. off again, and I have to pull another blat out of my gut to make him stop and get the shot off. Now as you can see, if we slowed that down just a little bit, he did jump the string. He, he was keyed, he up. He he was keyed up, He and I shot him just a touch far back than I wanted to, but with the angle and everything, it actually right. did the right amount of uh, damage to his inside. He, he went down quite a bit, actually. And another great thing in the rain is this buck died right in sight, and we didn't have to track it, because with the rain going on, you can lose a blood trail in a matter of minutes. 